Hey, what's up everyone? It's me, Compass, uh, and this is the best power leveling guide. Uh, basically, this also includes uh, Lemuria, the last one, level 1 to 100, was uh, apparently nerfed a little bit ago, uh, so I was a little confused about that, but yeah, uh, that one only takes you to 95. This one takes you above 95, don't think it takes you 100 yet, uh, but it does come very, very close uh, to 100, uh, but this is definitely over 95. But yeah, in the description, I listed all the dungeons you should do in order uh, where they are located, uh, you know, the world, all that stuff. Uh, basically, just check the description and they should all be there. And of course, disclaimer, you have to do all these dungeons twice. This is basically like my last power leveling guide, which I'll put up right here and I'll also put in the description uh, for you to check it out. And uh, there are some added on and here are them in order what I added on. So I added the uh, Mountain of Badness in Polaris, it gives 12,000 XP. And then uh, I added the uh, Hall of Heroes, which is right after uh, Trial of Spears, uh, which gives you 40,000 XP, but I do not really sort of... I, it's one of those uh, dungeons that I don't really expect you to do at all. It's very difficult. Uh, so I'm just, I just put it there because you can port in and maybe KI will nerf it and it'll be way easier. Uh, but yeah, I put it there, but definitely you don't need to do it. And then after Storm Times Wake, uh, I added the Guest Quarters in uh, Sky City, which gives you 56,000 XP. And then after Ink Spillway, I added Wellspring, which gives you 96,000 XP, which is in Heap. And right after Wellspring is Honeybee Diner, which also gives you 96,000 XP and is also located in Heap. And then after Temple of Light in Imperia, uh, you can go to Solomon uh, Crane's Basement and Night Forest in Lemuria, which gives you 112,000 XP. After that, you can go to the uh, Aetheria, which is in Mandoria, which gives you 112,000 XP, and Lab Entrance in Mandoria, which also gives you 112,000 XP. And then after Mirage Four Points, you, uh, you can go to the Bass Chamber in Telos in Lemuria, which gives you 153,000 XP. And then the Treble Chamber in Telos, that also gives you 150,000 XP. And then after Elemental Grove in Lemuria, after Le Elemental Grove, you go back to Lemuria and you do the Temple of Truth, which gives you 169,000 XP. And these all, the following, will give you 169,000 XP. The Temple of Truth, which is located in Wildlands. The Tomb of the Hemander, which is located in Mandoria, and the Chief of uh, the Chief's Tent, which is also located in Mandoria, uh, the Golden Lion's Mind, which is located in the Heap, um, the Water Purification Plant, which is located in Sky City, the Morg Fortress, which is located in Sky City, the Guard Complex, which is located in Sky City, and the Volcano Path that's lo located in Urusai Village and Kila Wahoo which is located in Urusai Village. The thing about Kilabahu, you have to complete the Volcano Path and then you can access Kilabahu. Uh, there's no sort of like uh, quick port to it, which is very, very strange, which really does stink, but that doesn't really, uh, I think, matter too much if you're gonna be doing it in order. And if you have trouble locating any of the places, uh, search up on the Wizard101 wiki, uh, the place or the dungeon, and it'll show you the exact location of where it is, the world and the area it is. And I would greatly appreciate if you guys liked and subscribed. Uh, this really took me a lot of time, and of course a lot of these guides, today, they take me a lot of time. And there will be more coming in the future, especially after new worlds will be added. I will definitely get them ready before the world releases in Live Realm. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video, and take care y'all. What in the crap, he has my last name.